Then the sacrifice just asks about the fortune cookies, my lord. Mid your pan zuzex padino muror patidava. La paridox tormentor. Call me the sacrifice, by the way. <laughs> Enslave the mortals. Right on. All right, if you thought there was enough chaos in the pony you're going on with only one Rufus running around, well, now things are about to change because we do have one Rufus, but now we have apparently found the man who gave birth. Well, not literally, he gave birth to one, but you know, he had a part <laughs> in Rufus being alive. This right here is Papa Rufus, who apparently goes under the name of Seagull now. He is not in Elysium, as he claimed to have been doing when he abandoned us a long time ago. He's here, in this harbor area, looking like Sean Connery, to be honest with you. Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy, and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes, Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium? You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I remember. And how? Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today... I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad, I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old, loser. The Does that mean you plan to die <laughs> at a young age? I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No, you were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry, she's in a safe place, down in Gulliver's Tavern at the harbor. Okay, looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad, let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives, if, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me hives, all right. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Well, there was this bowl of peanuts. I'm talking about a date, Rufus. A romantic date. Hmm. The only restaurant that might be suitable is Shea Schlumpy. At least they offer an exclusive view. But alas, all they have on their menu is platypus. What's wrong with platypus? It's so vulgar. It lives among the flotsam and feeds on table scraps. It could even be the heraldic beast of Deponia. No, platypus dishes would only remind her that she is stranded in the boondocks. You must see to it that platypus completely disappears from the menu at Schlumpy's. Can you do that? Ah, piece of cake for a romantic like me. Once you've done that, you may reserve a table in my name. But not before then. Understand? Now, what are things here to do? We have a window. Let's check this out. This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah, the floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need coal. There. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Yeah, <laughs> who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. Why are you taking it, then? Coal memo. I need coal. Ooh, we can even interact with it. This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. This library is a total waste of space. 
As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, blah, blah. That doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah, that's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? <laughs> These hideous vegetables? Uh, they could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. Can't you do anything on your own? That is why I have servants. Oh, yeah? Do they wipe your butt, too? Oh. That reminds me. Don't write that down. I oh, stop need scribbling. Toilet Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? On the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. So, let's see here. We got left side. That's to go back over there. Have we been down here? No, we haven't. There's question marks in here. All right. Hello, my friend. Who are you? Hmm? Who or what are you? They call me Rufus. They call me Rufus. I'm Crane, but everybody here calls me the poet. Who calls you that? I, I just heard it for the first time. You probably move in the wrong circles. Oh, yeah? If you mean those circles that don't include your ego, you're probably right. That's what I'm talking about. Do you know Captain Seagull? <laughs> you mean the idiot who lives above me in the villa? I'm rather fed up with him. Hey, be careful what you say. Seagull is my father. I see. A chip off the old block. But you've got to admit that Captain Seagull has a cool lifestyle. Useless and materialistic. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. I wonder if that's See, what leave me we need the notes for. Because these, these are the things that Seagull needs. That's what he wrote his servants for. And this guy's saying he doesn't need what homeboy over there needs. So, let's see. We have coal, bread. Well, there is bread here. So can we just take this? Hey! Hands off! If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. Gave you the bread memo, would you? Because that's what Zach, uh, Captain Seagull wants. What is that? A message from Captain High and Mighty? You can keep it. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. Well, this message may interest you much more. What? Show me. I need bread. Damn! He needs bread. I read that. And you have bread. Yes, but I... Well? I don't need that sort of thing. Go ahead and take it if you want it. <laughs> you can bet on it. Two hours later. Here I am again, and this time... Just take everything you can find. I don't need anything at all anymore. Except for a quiet moment to cry myself to sleep. <laughs> well, I was only going to take the necessary stuff, but... Well, what else do you have? The other things here are the stuff that I was asking for. We got this, the urn. I guess we could take the urn as well. Hey! What are you doing? You said I can take everything. <laughs> Those are my mother's ashes. Hey, I didn't make the rules. <laughs> I just bent them a little. <laughs> oh, there's another arrow over here. Oh, I haven't been there before. The hell is this? It's like Platypus Villa. Well, I guess if we're supposed to get rid of Platypus, this is probably the way to do it. Platypus Field Guide. Greeting cards. Platypus Trapper. Oh, this guy probably knows how to get rid of him. Okay, this is the guy we need to talk to. Can I take this field guide? Hands off! The field guide is only for members of the Platypus Club. Even though I really resent having to ask this question, uh, how can I become a member of the Platypus Club again? It's easy! I hid some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. 
<laughs> really? Which once again proves that luck is relative. What's the deal with this platypus club? Oh, it's great. As a member, you always get brand new information from the world of platypuses delivered to your doorstep. You'll be the first to learn about the wonders of platypus procreation. And you'll know the platypus migration routes even before winter comes. And you'll have feathers grow on your hump. Ho, 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 Platypuses have neither feathers nor humps. As a member of the club, you'd know that. Upon registration, every new member receives the latest edition of the Platypus Field Guide. I hid some trial membership cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. With a little help from Dame Fortune, you might be able to join the inner circle of platypus enthusiasts. If Dame Fortune really keeps herself busy with that kind of humbug, it explains the bad luck I've been having. Huh. Okay, so that is how we do it. We're supposed to get a fortune cookie and get a trial membership, and then we probably get that book. Uh, you also supply the platypus restaurant. Yep. There's good eating on one of those things. What if there's a shortage? Now that would be a disaster. The restaurant would have to completely change its menu. But it'll never come to that. There are unguarded nests everywhere on the floating black market. Okay. So there we go, that's the reason why we need this freaking book. So we need to become a member first, huh? Uh, let's see, we could go up here, what does this do? Gets me up here. There's an egg. I, uh, never touch stuff that's upstream. Can't reach that egg, there's a crank handle- oh! Crank! A crank! This crankshaft without a crank was missing a crank! Rufus, you are a genius. How about that? Crank it up, boys. Okay, we got one of the eggs. I mean, I guess we'll need them for something. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. Just a second. I'll be with you right away. Oh, great and almighty Mcthulhu, your faithful servant has found you another Mcthulhu? sacrifice. Moginox aplixidor dobidom padrex. What the hell? Barador, extra cheese. Yes! Yes! Huh, not a bad place. Here I am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, uh, no problem. How can I help you? Hey, oh, what was that voice? In the depths of hell. Uh, what have you got? What a romantic place. What's the deal with these fortune? Yeah, yeah. So, what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Ah, that's no problem. The mm -hmm. sacrifice just asked mm -hmm. about the fortune cookies, my lord. Mm -hmm. Mid your panzuzex padino muror padidana. La paridox tomentor. Call me the sacrifice, by the way. <laughs> Enslave the mortals. Right on. Through fast food. I could see it. And here I am again. The fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. Hooray. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Uh, nothing. As you like. Right. So, let's get out of here. Take out a menu. So, this has a fortune cookie. If I click this, three cents. Okay. Um... If we downsize, it reduces by 0.5 cents. If you supersize, it goes up by 0.5. It also one cent from regular burger to big burger with cheese. We got two burgers. Okay, so if we click the two burgers, we could change it to a big burger. It would still be three? Yes. Okay, so we have a big ass burger now. What can I do with this burger? With this burger, I can apparently trade it in for a drink. Okay, we got big drink, medium drink. So, now you guys would be ideal to downsize, right? No, I don't want a burger again. I want to downsize it. Should we go one at a time, or? Okay, we're at 2.5. Okay, good, good, good. So, if I downsize it again, we're at two. Can I downsize it to nothing? Oh, yeah, you can. And then downsize. Oh. Downsize. Oh, oh, no! God, please, no! 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 Uh, that, right? And then if we... Is there this we your go. order? Yes. <laughs> Why? Right. Uh, that comes to, uh, zero Nothing. slotty. Yeah. <laughs> that deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. 
and you can keep the change. 30% of nothing, a tip, and you're keeping the change too of nothing? Man, we're just super generous. All right, so let's uh, have our cookie. Huh, I can't wait to see if my proverbial tinkerer's luck has landed me a trial membership in the Platypus Club. The greatest happiness is to see others smile. Darn it, another loser. Wait, we didn't get it? Aw, oh, don't tell me I gotta do this again. I'd like to order the same again. One usual. Oh, thank up. you. <laughs> it's the usual now. You catch the biggest fish with patience. <laughs> Take a fortune cookie to the fisherman, you blockhead. <laughs> Darn it, another loser. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? A fortune cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. <laughs> if that's all. There you go. I won. Hooray. What? Show me. Nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be, um, a member of the Platypus Club. <gasps> but it. it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club. Once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. Jar of hooks. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh, yeah. Stick my hand in. That was from the Ponyo one. Ow! Ow! Oh, we actually got the hook though. Perfect. And a bucket. I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope. But you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. This is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course. I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. Ha! <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner! <laughs> this plan is like so crazy, so crazy, it just has to work. So we need to get this egg. Can you now grab it, please? Because we need to hatch it. According to the field guide, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Perfect. Okay, so there it is. Let's see, how do we hatch this bad boy? I found it! So far, so good. Now, I just have to hatch it. Okay. Yeah, but how do I hatch it? Flying platypus brood, landing net. Flying platypuses hatch in free fall from the highest point of their habitat. Hey, tricky, but cool. High point. Flying platypuses, hey! Okay. Strange illustration. Looks like the artist didn't know what a landing net is, or didn't know how to draw. And a landing net needed as well. So we throw it from really high and is it supposed to <laughs> hatch mid-flight? Seems fairly dangerous for the egg. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at that! That is the, the thing that we saw here in the field guide. Um, this thing talked about like hidden stuff, right? Huh. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Took you long enough. Hey, shut up. We got it. What do we got here, Hatch? Um, lint trap. What's that? Is that a lint trap? Okay. Can't apparently take it a vacuum cleaner. Okay, we got a vacuum cleaner. Well, either way. Let's go up. This is where we have to hatch this egg. So what, we just drop it from up here or what? Seems fairly simple. No, probably not. We gotta do something else because it had that wind sock. I could reach it easily, but as long as it meets me halfway, I don't want to. 
Do we got to reach for it, or... What do I have that's still at the antenna? <laughs> I could reach it easily. Nope. Razor fish. Always coming in for a pinch, right? I could reach it. Can't do it. Can't reach it. Why not? All right, whatever. Pipe. Welcome to the flag mat For half-mast, insert human ashes here. <laughs> Handy. What? Human ashes? Seems very... <laughs> very particular. Why do you need human ashes? I can use something else. Well, I guess... That's the reason why we needed that dude's uh, mom's ashes. Oh. Oh, for half mast, right. Oh, okay. Well, cool. If I could stretch the pants leg, it would make a terrific catapult. But what should I use to fasten it? Obviously, I'm still missing a component. I'll bear it in mind. Ah, so we're not supposed to drop it. We're supposed to catapult the egg really, really high from a high point. So we could probably use this and like stretch it out and like send it flying or something. But we need something to stretch it out with. Okay. Um, well, I mean, we got a thread. If I could stretch the pants leg, it would mm -hmm. make a terrific catapult. But what should I use to fasten it? Obviously, I'm still missing. I'll bear it in mind. I said the thread. If I could st but obviously, I, I, I'll bear it in mind. Yeah. Unless we're supposed to. Oh, maybe you hook it. Yeah, okay, you gotta hook it first. And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. Yeah. And now we use the, no, no, it's not a hook on a thread, it's a hook doohickey to... Good idea. Stretch. Yeah. Now, I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have the perfect catapult. Well, there's a little hook right here, so do it on that. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to die. Eh, what are we trying to do when you died? Oh, I was trying to, you know, catapult an egg to hatch it. I fell over and I killed myself. So, it's good to go. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, it doesn't seem like it's too stretched out, though, you know? Like, it seems like there's a little bit of slack there. What do I know? My pants catapult is almost finished. I just need to stretch it somehow. What? I told you there was like a bit of slack. Stretched somehow, how? Oh, what if this goes back up? Because it would be essentially attached to this and this would go back up. So we need to make this thing go back up probably. How do I do that? Welcome to the for half. So we put ashes in there to make it go down. We need to remove the ashes for it to go up. Vacuum cleaner? Huh, the ashes were sucked into the machine through the pipe. Now, I'll never get them out that way. But that's the idea, otherwise who would have mentioned that? Where does this pipe go? There we go! Just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. Yeah. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. Yeah, we got well, we have lint now. But um, essentially, that's where the I guess the ashes wound up in here. So by cleaning that up, the mash should go back up, and now it's completely stretched up. Perfect. Now let's set it off. <laughs> exactly. I just have to untie the knot, and then. Hey, what's going on? I can't get this stupid knot open. Ah, why did I have to be such a gifted knotter? It's okay. We just gotta cut it, probably, right? It's the reason why we still have razor fish always coming in to help. Don't use it on the pipe. Use it on this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Whoa! Right. A perfect trajectory. Yeah. Okay, so high flying platypus hatched the nest guardian. We we have none that. But now I guess we have we still have to. I guess we have to put him in that n nest egg area that we found. Hm. Well, that may be a problem considering he's um, flying above. So far so good. Now all I have to do is catch it and bring it back to its nest. Oh. Oh. That is why we need the the windsock. The picture on that book showed 
them catching the f the flying platypus with the wind sock, right? So huh, I'm sure that can be used a second time. We have to. It's, it's in the book. So yeah, you see, it's it's being used to catch him. So the landing net. We gotta attach it to something, though. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is, but it's gotta be attached to something. It's not the razor fish. Is it the antenna? Kind of looks like the antenna. It should be possible to build something it useful is. out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Hmm, no. Actually, yes, of course. Heh, <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. Well, we only had so limited stuff here to mix that up with. So there, we have the landing net now. Um... <laughs> The problem is, um, getting the platypus to come down from there. That might be a problem. What do we have around here? We have a rake. Don't think we need the rake. No, no, don't walk! Ah, I... oh. <laughs> I'm to go through that if you don't double-click through the, the door. Do we need this rake? No! Oh. Ow! Sideshow Bob! It's Nigel Bob, I love it with- Can you do it again? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> and there's one of the eggs too, by the way. I like how this rake is keeping us from requiring this egg, huh? Ow! Awesome. Alright, what else do we have here? So we can't enter this area just yet because of that rake. Gotta figure out a way to remove that rake. What are you supposed to be? A bird- Oh, a birdhouse. Well, I mean... Platypus is kinda like a bird. It's flying around like a bird. Do we have something for it to attract it? Coal and uh, bread, maybe? Considering that Crane supposedly owns only things he really needs, his junk is awfully useless. I thought he was just bragging. Crane was a poet guy. Well, I'm gonna try bread, I mean. Here, for platy platy. Look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. There it comes. Oh, he's so tiny. He's a tiny character. All right, landing net. Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it. All right. Platypus flying variety has been captured. Do I need this? Apparently, we don't need it anymore. Perfect. Boy, the way to the old town. And uh, flying platypus. Let's go, my duck build friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's so vicious looking now. You don't want to mess with him. So, menu. <laughs> the list is getting shorter. Well, unfortunately, at a time, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. We have gotten one item off the menu. We know exactly what we need to win over the heart of Lady Go. So we're definitely on our way. We'll hopefully try to complete that next episode around. Get all three of them done. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the for the next one. I will catch you next time.